going to read you a math book. This is called Michaela's Magnificent Machine. The author is Tracy Moncure and is illustrated by Joyce Hesselberth. Michaela lives in this house. It's as bright as she is. Bright means she's very smart. Michaela made her magnificent machine with her mother. That's the machine out front. Can you see the machine in front of the house? Made of all kinds of things. Michaela, I have a question for your magnificent machine. I found 10 nails in the junk drawer. What can I do with 10 nails? Michaela started to speak to her machine. In its rumbly, grumbly voice, it said, I can hear just fine, Michaela. You don't have to repeat the question. You can hang pictures or a rack for clothes. You can build a dog bed. You can fix a wobbly porch floor. Hi, Miko. What are you up to today? I have a question for your magnificent machine. I got nine new shirts for my birthday. What can I do with my nine old shirts? That's a good question, Miko. What do you say, magnificent machine? In its rumbly, grumbly voice, the magnificent machine said, you can paint numbers on them or have a soccer team. You can take them to school for paint shirts. You can use them to wash the car, or you can stuff them in a pillowcase and have a big soft pillow. Thank you, Michaela's magnificent machine, said Miko. You're very smart. As Michaela was going toward the store, she saw Jenny. Hi, Michaela. I have a question for your magnificent machine. Hi, Jenny. What can we answer for you today? I need to know what I can do with eight empty water bottles, she said. In its rumbly, grumbly voice, the magnificent machine said, You can make eight terrariums, eight cups for holding things, eight jars for growing herbs, or eight bird feeders. Thank you, Michaela's magnificent machine, said Jenny. I wondered what to do with all those bottles. Hi, Michaela. I've been thinking all morning about what I could ask your magnificent machine. I think I have a trick question, said Officer Paul. Oh, don't be so sure, Officer Paul, Michaela said. Here's my question. What can I do with seven tweets of my whistle? In a rumbly, grumbly voice, the magnificent machine said, You can stop seven cars. You can make seven cars go. You can start the parade with seven tweets, and you can tweet seven clowns down the street. Thank you, Michaela's magnificent machine, said Officer Paul. I couldn't trick you this time. Good morning, Mrs. Chen, said Michaela. Have you been knitting more socks? Yes, I have been, Michaela. I have to replace old ones that wear out. I have a question for your magnificent machine, Mrs. Chen said. What can I do with eight old socks? In its rumbly, grumbly voice, the magnificent machine said, You can use old socks to dust furniture. You can use old socks to paint poles. You can make six sock puppets. And you can tie six old socks together for a toy for your dog. Thank you, Michaela's magnificent machine, said Mrs. Chen. I think I'll use the old socks to paint my porch rails. Good morning, Michaela, said Mr. Goldman. Have you answered a lot of questions today? Yes, we have, Mr. Goldman. But can we answer some? We can answer some more. Do you have one? I do. What can I do with five very ripe bananas? asked Mr. Goldman. I need to use them before they go to waste. In its rumbly, grumbly voice, the magnificent machine said, You can make banana bread. You can feed five monkeys. You can make banana soup or make banana ice cream. That's my favorite. Thank you, Michaela's magnificent machine, said Mr. Goldman. I think I'll make banana soup. Good morning, Mrs. James, said Michaela. Have you been jogging long? About a half hour, Miss James answered. Long enough to jog my memory, she laughed. You have a question for my magnificent machine, Michaela asked. I do. What can I do with four sheets of blue paper, asked Mrs. James. In its rumbly, grumbly voice, the magnificent machine said, You can write a letter to your sister, you can make an airplane, you can draw a picture of your cat, and make a p blue paper chain. Thank you, Michaela's magnificent machine, said Miss James, and she jogged on down the street. Hey, Sammy, said Michaela, what are you doing today? We're going to go swimming, and I have a question for your magnificent machine. What can I do with three dollars? Sammy asked. In its rumbly, grumbly voice, the magnificent machine said, 
You can buy a paperback book for your sister, a mango smoothie for your dad, a big bone for Queenie. That's a hard choice. Thank you, Michaela's magnificent machine, said Sammy, as he walked on down the street. Good morning, Mrs. Linder. How have you how are you all this morning? asked Michaela. We're all fine, dear, Mrs. Linder said. I have a question for your machine. What can I do with two eggs? You can make pancakes for your kids. A big egg sandwich for Grandma. Cornbread for dinner. Sounds like your machine is hungry, Michaela. Thank you, Michaela's magnificent machine, said Mrs. Linder, and she moved on down the street. Good morning, Michaela. Are you and your machine ready for a question? Of course we are, Mr. Diaz. What do you have for us today, Michaela answered. I have one screwdriver. What can I do with it, he asked. In its rumbly, grumbly voice, the magnificent machine said, You can open a can of paint, you can fix your screen door, you can put the leg on the table, and you can fix the door on our mailbox. Thank you, Michaela's magnificent machine. I think I'll let Michaela fix the mailbox, said Mr. Diaz, and he walked on down the street. Well, Michaela, her magnificent machine said, I have a question for you. What can I do with one sleepy little girl?